What's up guys, Brady Nickel here, and in honor of St. Patty's Day, we're doing a green screen tutorial, which is one of my favorite movies that I'm basing this one off of. It's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Check this out. What is it? Some kind of cloak. Well, let's see them. Put it on. Whoa! My body's gone! I know what that is! That's an invisibility cloak! So to start this, you're going to need to record some footage of you with a camera locked off on a tripod. You don't have to. If you can do it without a tripod, kudos to you. But this is going to be the easiest way to sell this effect. Now, after you have your camera set up, you're going to need a green screen material or something that's super easy to key out and post and something that's separating you from the cloth and the background. That's why we use green screens or blue screens or whatever. It's super simple to key out. And for this cloak effect, you're gonna need another cloth or something darker than the green screen. I used a black background sheet for this one. So what I did was I laid the green screen down on the ground and then I laid the black backdrop on top of it and picked it up together. And so the point of the black cloth is to, one, hide the green screen from the camera, but two, to show that there's actually a cloth in your hand, something that you're actually physically picking up. And when you spin it around, the green screen's on the other side, so the black disappears. Now you have the green screen, which is keyed out. So once you get that, make sure you get a clean plate and you're ready to jump into Premiere. Okay, so as we jump into Premiere, we're going to put our clean plate out, which I've already chosen. And then we're going to go ahead and put our raw footage out on top of our clean plate. And you can see as we play through what this looks like with the green screen and the dark cloth on front, the black backdrop. Okay, so let's go over to your effects panel and look up Ultra Key. And go ahead and drop that on your footage. This is what we're going to use to key out the green screen. And over here in your effects controls, come down to the ultra key and go ahead and find the point in your footage that you want to key out. And it's best to find the brightest spot that you can find on your green screen. So I stopped it right here and we'll go ahead and key this out. Okay, so now you can see we have this kind of cool transparent little ghost figure, but we're going to come over here to composite, drop down to alpha channel, and you'll see it goes black and white. And so what we're going to do is we want to mess with the matte generation until the green screen is totally in black and everything else is pure white. So it may take a few minutes to get this right, but you want to change the highlights and shadows and tolerance to just to where everything is pitch black. And you may have to go down to the matte cleanup. And it looks like we're going to have to... We'll choke this a little bit. Go ahead and soften it up. That's helping. Get a little more contrast. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. Let's see what we got. Go back to composite. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, so let's give this a playback. See what it looks like. Okay, so you can see we got a bunch of spillage coming onto our screen up here with super yellow. So we'll go back to alpha channel and we'll mess with the transparency until it's solid black in that spot. Go back to composite and you can see that's taken care of. And right, we'll play this back one more time. And that looks great. Okay, so one thing I don't like is this shadow that's over here, because if I was invisible, you would not see a shadow on the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a mask to cover that up. So we'll go over here to Opacity, and just draw a mask on the wall, and down below the shadow line. OK, 
Okay. And we'll look at that. Much better. Totally disappeared. That's flawless. Okay, so one last thing that we need to deal with is where this green screen is spilling over the edge of the black cloth. And I'll show you what that looks like. We'll turn off Ultra Key so you can see this. Okay, so you can see it there on the edge and it's just coming over the top. Everything that is green is being cut off. So you can see my legs are being cut off right there. So I'm going to show you what you can do to fix this. We're going to alt click on our footage and drag down. And it's going to duplicate our footage. And so on the bottom clip we're going to scale this up so that the black cloth on the bottom clip is bleeding over the black cloth on the top clip. And so we'll scale this and position it where it needs to go. And that's totally better. But now we gotta clear up this side over here where you can see my duplicated body on the right. So to do that, we're just gonna make another mask. We're gonna drop the opacity of the top clip to about 50% so you can see both clips. And then click on the bottom clip. Make sure you click on the bottom one. Delete the old mask that's been duplicated. We don't need that on this clip. And then we'll create a new mask. And we'll just draw around where the black cloth is on the top clip. All right, and now let's see what this looks like. That is not bad. All right, so let's put this in an actual scenario. There you go, you just found the invisibility cloak. Go rob some banks. Don't do that. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you do though. Well there you have it. I hope everybody made it to St. Patty's Day without getting pinched. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Before I go though, I do want to mention that I'm now selling t-shirts for solo filmmakers just like me that wear all the hats, the ones that do everything that you could do on a film crew. I'm by myself, it's me the whole time. And now I have something to show when people ask me what I do. Look at this. I have t-shirts, I have premium hoodies. They are so cool. And I have v-necks and so much more guys. I'll put the link in the description, just go check it out. I promise you, you guys, want these. That's it for me guys. I will see you guys in the next one.